Let's head into the kitchen now because Mark's still away on holiday, but we've been very lucky because the incredible Vanessa Baxter joins us on the cafe. Great to have you on the cafe again, Vanessa. Thank you, Mike. Exciting to be back. I know. We're going to make you work this time, aren't I we? know. Absolutely. <laughs> That's all good. Okay, so this is a recipe from the Fearless Kitchen, your incredible book. What are we making today? So we're doing a really simple family recipe of barbecue chicken satay with a really gorgeous uh, ginger and coconut rice. Nice. And I'm just looking at these ingredients here. Beautiful, fresh, free-range chicken. What else have Ooh. we got scattered around? Here. Just some really simple ingredients, shallots, uh, some ginger, a little bit of tamarind, coriander and cumin for the chicken mm. and then just uh, garlic and ginger to go in with the rice with some coconut milk. Great work. Well, we'll find out more about this recipe very soon. We're going to come back, we're going to make it for you, we're going to take you through it and then luckily we get to eat it at the end. <laughs> it's great to have you with us. We are in the cafe kitchen. I love Fridays. We get open homes and then we get to go into the kitchen and Vanessa Baxter is joining us from the Fearless Kitchen. How are hey, you, Mike? Vanessa? I am very well, thank you. Okay, good. Now, you told us earlier what we're going to be making, a barbecue chicken satay. Yes. And this is um, a recipe that's using fresh corn-fed rangatake chicken, yes, which is great. Yes, it is, which is absolutely beautiful, and um, I love using that. Nice. Yeah, it's great. Okay, well, look, now, one of the things that you write in your book is that people can help in the kitchen. Exactly. So I'll be your helper. You talk me through it. What are we going to do first? Okay, so this is a really simple recipe because all of the recipes in the book are really designed for the family, and to be able to get helpers into the kitchen, Good. so it's great that you asked. So we're just going to pop all of these ingredients into the blender and get those blended up with a little bit of oil and that's actually just creating our marinade okay, great. Um, for this beautiful chicken. So there's a couple of things. One, we're going to get those into here but yep. then also we're going to take one of these beautiful chicken breasts and place it between these two pieces of parchment paper yes. or uh, baking sheet right. and just give it a little bit of a bang with the... Uh, rolling pin okay, there you to go. just flatten it out a little bit. Okay. So would you like to take control of that I for can, me? I can do the banging. Perfect. All right. I used to do that with steaks years ago. Dad used to make me do that with steaks. Yeah. I used to bash them to with the milk bottle. To tenderise the meat probably in that case. In this case it's just because I want. I don't want it to get really super thin. Right. But just flatten it out a little bit so that when we slice it to put onto our skewers, skewers. all the meat is even and it will cook more evenly. Okay, yeah. cool. Righty-o, sweet. So well, if I'll you get... do that, so I'm just popping into the blender some shallots and then I'm going to follow up with a little bit of the crushed garlic. Okay. And the great thing about these ingredients is it's probably things that most people would have in the fridge. Uh, and the recipe is actually inspired by my time living in Indonesia. Oh, wow. So I lived there for about six years. And satay, people kind of know it as Balinese. I've just popped in there, by the way, uh, some cumin seeds and coriander seeds. Okay. So they're probably things that people may need to go and buy, but they're really easily available at any supermarket here in New Zealand. Now, when you're putting this book together, what, yeah. what was your sort of theme? What did you want to create? I wanted to create like some fresh inspiration, but keep it really simple and family friendly. Yeah. And I also really wanted to encourage everyone to get their families back into the kitchen so that it's not just always one person stuck in the kitchen cooking on their own. Right. But it could be flatmates, it could be your partner, and it could be your kids. So every recipe I've put, you know, what a helper can do, so that it's really easy for you to turn around and say, yes, Mike, I'd love you to help. And you've <laughs> taken fresh food that's really easy to find, and from your experiences around the world, just added a great little twist. Twist, yeah, I've just tried to add a little bit of the Asia in there, a little bit of um, my time in Italy. So each uh, recipe has got a little touch of maybe a slightly different inspirational point, but not taking it away from having to go and f source all the ingredients right. or find them. They're all available in a simple supermarket. Jeez, that smells inc impressive. Okay, speaking of Brilliant. impressive, is that right? Is that yes. what you need? A bit That's more? That's absolutely fantastic. I was quite enjoying that. That was quite therapeutic, <laughs> actually. <laughs> so I think what we'll do is we'll pop the ones that you've done yes. into here. Okay. In fact, you know what? I think, we've got a, I think we'll just do that. And we're just going to pop them in here yeah. because we need to marinate them and yeah. then they're just going to go into the fridge for about 20 to 30 minutes to marinate. Okay, great. And then we're ready to go. So it's Brilliant. pretty straightforward. While they're marinating, I'll probably pop the rice on and that's really simply cooked with a touch of coconut milk and you just first uh, saute off a little bit of ginger and garlic. So at the end, you've got this lovely coconut rice with ginger and garlic sauteed through it. What's your preference for the type of rice? What, what type oh, of rice? I'm just using you? jasmine rice for this because okay. it goes beautifully with satay. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. Well, geez, that smells incredible. It smells good already, doesn't it? Mm -mm, there we go. There's going to be some good skewers. Okay, in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Yes. And through the magic of television, we will speed that up for you. But this is the book, The Fearless Kitchen. You'll find recipes similar to this one in here. 
care full of lots of good facts and also little sections for helpers so you can put them to work in the kitchen as well just like I did I help back in the cafe kitchen and we are finishing off our barbecue satay chicken with Vanessa from the fearless kitchen great food you can share with your family so you'll be marinating the chicken yep the chicken's just come out of the fridge it's been marinating for about half an hour and if you could get that pan right. on for me that'd be amazing there's some oil here that's what she likes slash that into the pan for me she likes to incorporate help in the kitchen which is beneficial for everyone really well isn't it, it is because it's really collaborative and it creates um, a really fantastic natural environment for communication as well so I find that with kids especially if you get them into the kitchen and you're kind of working beside each other like this you're not kind of eyeballing them over the conversations you want to have you're kind of like generating something else to concentrate yes, on yes, but it's you're amazing right. you know some people say oh it's great to talk to kids in the car you know for the same reason because you're concentrating on something else and they don't feel like they're on a mission to have to talk to you, and I feel the same <laughs> about in the kitchen. <laughs> I love that theory. That's brilliant. There you go. You're right. It's amazing what topics you could cover while you're in the kitchen. Well, that's just exactly right. Food. And on top of that, it's a lifelong skill, isn't it? You know, you're learning to cook from scratch. The ingredients are simple. The meals are simple. But over time, you'll start to build up this really lovely repertoire of, of evening meals mm. that even students can cook. I mean, this is not an expensive dinner. So. No, and it smells good. I'm, I'm yep. just watching your skewering technique. Ah, uh, so this is a Balinese way of skewering. Right. So you're going to. Uh, weave it okay, in cool. and out and that's why you know how you flattened the breasts for me earlier yes. between the baking paper so that they're lovely and flat like that so they'll cook, cook like a couple fast. of minutes each yep. side so as soon as that oil gets hot enough you could probably throw a couple on and mm. we can get started and you know in this marinade you've got that lovely tamarind uh, for the sour taste but if someone doesn't really like tamarind or they don't have it and they just want to get on with it you could replace it even just with some lime juice because right. you just need that uh, slightly um, acidic flavour in there. Right. Yeah. Okay, oh, fantastic. Cool. Now, of course, right. these, you can easily do these on the barbecue outside. Mm. Uh, if you don't have this sort of griddle pan, you just do them in a flat pan or on a teppanyaki grill. And you can even just pop them into the oven. Well, you I know, they'll just take a few minutes. They, oh, they're sizzling. Stand the sizzle. Yeah, they're starting to smell incredible. That's exactly right. Now, yes. while you're skewering, um, this is the rice that we have done previously. Yeah, uh, we just did that while the chicken was uh, in the fridge. So you use jasmine rice? Yep, just jasmine rice. And I had sautéed up a little bit bit of the garlic and the ginger to start in a touch of oil. Okay. Add the rice and then yep. half half of coconut milk and water uh, just until it's sort of you know when you touch the top of the rice yes. the liquid comes up to your first knuckle and then pop the lid on and cook it for just under 20 minutes with the lid on it, it absorbs all that beautiful coconut milk and we've got this gorgeous uh, spice coconut milk rice. Yeah, that is very fragrant. Thanks for that good tip too on the rice cooking because, you know, you've got to get it right, haven't you? Yeah, you've got to get it right. And then it can sit there uh, with the lid on and just keep steaming for another good 20 minutes. So it's easy to do that in advance and then just cook up your chicken and your meal's ready to go. Nice work. OK, so once you've finished here, what, what are you up to for the rest of the uh, weekend? Oh, for the weekend? Oh, I've got very busy boys who play soccer and oh, hockey yeah, and yeah. sports, so I'll, I'll turn into mum for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. Well, I'm pleased we managed to get you today. Yeah, thank um, you. You know, you were on the show a couple of weeks ago talking about this book. And I know, it's just been released. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah, no, honestly. Full of great ideas, really fragrant food that's very easy to prepare, and of course, lots of good tips in here from Vanessa. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Mike. Vanessa, the food has arrived. It looks incredible, smells yeah. delicious too. Thank you. Yeah, it should be yummy. yummy no, and look, thank you so much for all your work today. Oh, thank yeah, you for having me on the show. It was thank awesome you. to be here again.